Uh, Ethan, thanks so much for your time. So near doubling uh, revenues there, where did this growth come from? Thank you very much for having me in the studio. Um, this uh, came uh, from two areas really. Uh, about two years ago, we bought uh, a business in Cape Town called Fairheads. Uh, during the year, we uh, did the final transaction. We bought the remaining 30%, uh, which was held by management, which meant that we had to consolidate uh, the, the earnings coming through from uh, Fairheads. So that's one part of the, uh, the story. The second part of the story is that we had quite a big earnings coming from our private equity, mm -hmm. mainly from our mining activities in the coal area. So those were the two contributing factors to the jump in the, in the revenues. Right. But of course, it wasn't positivity all around. Some pressures in certain areas of mm -hmm. the business. I mean, I see your advisory services posted a loss there. I mean, tell me what the, what, what the future for this unit looks like. Yes, uh, given what, what we've uh, shown, I think we feel reasonably uh, 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 happy that we, we managed to deliver those innings in a very, very difficult uh, mm -hmm. environment. You will recall that um, last year, around about this time, the markets were very choppy. And I think that continued until about um, July, August. The only time that we started seeing really stability in the, in the equity markets was after August last year. So that affected our securities business and it also affected our advisory business. Um, typically, when you've got markets like that, uh, deals becomes fewer in the market and, mm -hmm. and but having said that uh, we're seeing um, a turnaround this year and largely I think driven by the fact that there is continued improvement in business confidence as well as in the consumer uh, side of things. So, so the year has started very well mm -hmm. for us in, in those two businesses that were struggling last year and we're expecting that we will um, have a good year this year. So are you right now in a position uh, seeing uh, sort of deals uh, uh, quicken? Because you did say that in your advisory business, deals were taking longer to right. complete. So has right. that situation now changed? And can you talk to me about exactly what deals it is you're talking about here? Uh, our advisory business really deals with uh, mergers and acquisitions. Mm. We deal with uh, the listings. We deal with the capital raising. We do bond issues. And then on the security side, it's basically trading mainly equities, bonds, as well as money markets. Um, so what I'm saying to you is that we've seen a turnaround in terms of the number of deals that we're seeing in the market. That's interesting because a lot of people are saying that even though there's increased optimism in South Africa right. since we've had a change in political uh, dispensation, they haven't actually seen that optimism translating into actual investments in the economy. We see it in the markets, but we haven't seen it right. physically. Are you saying now that you're in a position where you're seeing those in that, that, that investment pipeline sort of being ready to, 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 to explode? If I were, I wouldn't say that it, it's exploding, but if I were to compare where we were last year this time to this year this time, certainly in our business we've seen an improvement. Um, I think that as the economy starts to, to pick up, and I think you are correct, I think there's always a lag between what people think would happen and what actually ends up happening. I think we're in that phase where, uh, you know, in our situation, really, we're seeing s improvement if we compare it to, to last year. Mm. You're talking about uh, volatility uh, stabilizing. Mm. Really? Uh, today, mm. I mean, we <laughs> see big moves on the <laughs> Dow <laughs> and US Treasury <laughs> yields doing all sorts of crazy things. Yeah, hmm. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, look, I, I think I was just talking to, to someone before I came here about what happened last night uh, in the US markets. I mean, it's, uh, and it was the fifth day that they were experiencing that kind of. Um, uh, volatility in the, in the marketplace. But uh, yeah, if I were to compare it to last year, you know, I, our experience at least is that this year the trades are much better. I don't know whether it's because of the, the size of our business, but uh, that, that's a situation that we're experiencing. Okay, mm. so you're not too concerned about the trade war rhetoric. You say that South African companies uh, don't really have much exposure to the US, so Bunani somehow shielded on that regard. You are cautiously optimistic about the future though. Sure. So where are these concerns coming from? Um, 
I think that I wouldn't say that from a market point of view that uh, we are protected. If, if the global markets are cracking, I think that we've seen that there is always panic in, mm -hmm. in our markets as well. Whether that's justified or not, that's another thing. Mm -hmm. But I think that one wouldn't expect our markets to be um, doing very well when you've got um, the situation that we're having in the US in particular. Mm -hmm. But uh, my view is that given what has happened in the South African uh, economy, starting with the political situation that we experienced towards the end of last year, um, I'm optimistic that um, we are going to see um, improvement in, in our markets.